Sagittarius, hello my lovely ones. Welcome to your September general reading energies. General energy for each and every one, Sun, Moon, Rising, Signs and Venus. Many of you have been asking, this is for Sun or for Venus? Yes, whatever speaks to you. If you are going by your Sun sign more than your Venus or more than your Moon, that's how you gotta follow loves. Follow your heart, follow your intuition. And let's see what are general energies are there for you for this month. We are in Virgo month, quite square with your sign loves. Many of you might found that in Virgo it's quite sometimes or somehow in your energy. That's what happens. When we are square onto zodiacs, that's what happens. As well, it's a mutable sign as you are. I am recording this video, Sag right before the new moon in Virgo. May blessings come to you, loves, and don't hesitate to set up your intentions, your manifestations, do a ritual, whatever that ritual speaks to you, because some of you might have this in mind, well, a ritual gotta be somehow specific, just a simple ritual to write something down with an intention, like you have it, that is your ritual. Some rituals are just take a deep breath or take a bath with Epsom salt or just normal salt. It's great to clean up the energy and bring it the new one and so on. So let's see here, Sag, general energy for general purpose for each and every one, what we got for this month and how this month reflects on you and your energy. As I've been said in the, the reading I've done the other day for all zodiacs regards the new moon this month especially many many sages might found very busy and you might tend to yes put probably all your eggs in one basket be very assertive be very careful what you do with your energy and where you put your energy but Yes, indeed, here many, many Sagis will find this month a very busy one. And yes, Virgo speaks of the 9-5 work, organizing stuff, doing things one at a time, step by step. Another aspect, Virgo, it's critique. You can criticize yourself or you could be way more into critic. Well, I gotta be this way better or how that person can do it and I can't or I'm a Sag, I need to do it. Don't be too hard on yourself. All right, loves. Nine of Wands underneath, full, Knight of Swords, and Six of Swords. There's something here like kind of like let it go. Whomever you are, my dealing, I see a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an Aries. There's something here kind of like let it go. The resistance might be over. For some of you, someone here might have a, a tab on you, how you don't react on certain things, but it's kind of in meantime, they will move on. Six of Swords, okay? So for some of you, yes, you might found into a situation that someone here wants to do something or make something or they feel like, well, how you not pay attention, what you don't do this and, and things like that. You know, take it easy. For some of you, that's you one thing's, you know, coming one after another one and it's more likely going with the flow will bring you more than you think. The first card we have Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles and King of Wands. Look at this, loves. Yes, you might deal here with a water sign or an air here, but I feel here there's something here like I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need. It's kind of, it's that like drive more, more, more. And probably going forward, let's say by the end or the third week of the month, you you might have other other thoughts, second thoughts regard something. Two of pentacles, seven of five of pentacles, eight of cups, and nine of pentacles. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I move? Should I whatever I need to do? I feel here the by the end of the month you you might realize that something here 
doesn't really depend on you but most likely on the circumstances or on the other factors okay for some of you if you are if you are need to make a decision between two people or two situations i feel here you will make that choice but when one part something here you you're leaving behind but it's not like hey yes i'm i'm bad about it but or i'm not good i'm not feeling great about it but in the end you will feel like well thank goodness i walked away i couldn't be just back and forth back and forth because anyway that situation were not really great for some of you, if you are dealing here with someone who always been in and out of you in your life and you always been debating, should I stay in the situation? Should I leave? I feel here in the Virgo season this month, you are going to leave it. You will take action towards what you feel here, what you really want. The Knight of Swords here clarifying the Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. So look at here, we have the Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, the fast and slow energy. So whatever it's here, it's coming in a form of fast, quick, and then slows a little bit down. For those of you who have been impatient with the situation, it's kind of the cool down afterwards. The fact is you don't really need to put too much, or it's not that you put too much, but more likely don't expect big things or fast things or your expectation got to be on the opposite side than what you had. So think differently or see the things differently. For many Sag, this month is a turning point for certain things. If you worry for something, that is cleaning up. If you really want something to go in a way, might come in a certain other way. The thing the fool is telling you, which is the only major arcana here, that tells you, have no expectations. Whatever you are dealing here, take it easy. The fool doesn't really go deep. Keep it light. Yes, the things are in the light, in the day. They are not, you are not in the dark. You are not losing yourself, but keep it light. Keep it on the surface. Don't go deep for whatever it is. Okay, loves? Because whatever is here might seem in a way and might come a whole different way. The Nine of Wands, Four of Cups, Hangman, And the Ace of Cups. The Nine of Wands clarified Four of Cups, Hangman, and Ace of Cups. A new beginning, but as I said, on a different note, differently. And this new beginning speaks of whatever you had to deal and whatever it's coming see it from a different perspective so this hangman is the second major arcanas you are not stuck loves you are just just starting something if something here was stuck or we're not moving or not going somehow and you just kind of like what can be well things are improving whomever you are dealing or 
what you are dealing. This month is the starting point. For some of you, there was a situation here that going on the roll. Now it's about to start. If something here you've been postponing to to go somewhere or do something on your own, probably you are thinking to start your own craft, your own business, even your YouTube channel or other things just on your own or on the side. King of Wands, that very much speaks to you. Go ahead. For those of you who are having someone coming back to you, I feel here they are, yes, they're coming in and they want to say things and you keeping in light. Let them speak. Because, you know, people need that conversation or people need to be heard. Let them speak. Because I feel here the way they are coming, the energy is changing. So from the swords to the pentacles is like calming down. So if someone here comes rushing back in and tells you la 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 and you're just kind of like, okay, take it easy. Doesn't really too much matter to me, but say it. So for some of you, yes, there is a clarification of a situation and then for whatever it is, it's taking it slow. Or someone here thought something or had something, they will say it anyway, loves. Okay. The advice. What advice we have for you for the month that's on the way. Seven of Wands. Seven of Swords. Emperor. And Death. And Hierophant. To be in a balanced, stable energy here, stand up into your position or stay in your position into your truth because I feel here someone here might try certain things to say or do or look in a different way I feel here your character or the way you are will change their view I feel here there's a, a change of mind for some of you or for some who you are dealing, whomever you are dealing, or what are you dealing, that's a change. For some of you, going forward with the situation or having that confidence to move forward, there's a lot of changes. Sticking with that, why not? Going forward, why not? right Sag because I feel here for some of you whatever you've been waiting or whatever you've been postponing being back and forth that's done and over now there's a lot of things that moves forward new things to learn and I feel here that's to the best to the best there are only seven here as you see it's missing its seven of cups. If you've been confused in a situation or if you didn't really know where you are or where you're going or what to do, this month there's coming clarity. This month all that confusion is going away, moving forward. Also, for some of you, after you will find and clarify whatever it is, yes, my my give you into an energy that I wish I could knew earlier or I could knew better or something like that. And for some of you, there's someone about you. They might think this way. If they thought of you like, oh, you, you don't really care or you are not for them or something, like they will change their mind. 
there's a big mind changing energy here or a big revelation of changing but for sure whatever you are going it's something beautiful new and uplifting couldn't be better right so yeah a situation here is big time on improvements the advice from the oracles for you loves the zodiac signs here i see water energy cancer scorpio pisces most likely i see scorpio and piscean air energy gemini strongly fire energy aries virgo energy here as well so look at here loves the lion spirit maybe a leo for some of you be generous of spirit be generous of you be you you know lion is the king of the jungle so i feel here someone indeed will change they are view the way they see you or you see them and the number 29 the giraffe spirit see the big picture indeed here someone here will recognize the bigger picture because many many times we have an idea of something but at one point we are changing the view be generous of spirit the lion spirit oracle message a healthy ego means you is god's order instead of edging god out lion spirit appearance is a reminder that you have given the gift of pride and healthy sense of your worth to express your divine authentic self in a unique way you are both the king and the queen secure in your prosperity and wisdom and generous of spirit as you help others take pride in your ability to serve to from your heart contentment with what you have right now allows you to use your resources wisely as you give to others in a way that educate heal inspire and delight be proud yet humble practice gratitude and you will find that the accolades that comes to you are no match for the joy of knowing what you have been able to do for other through expressing the bounty of generosity within you lion spirit knows there is a great savanna before you and many who will benefit from the healthy expression of your unique set of gifts if you choose to work in partnership with spirit all your relationship flourish as you express your worth and generosity of spirit with humility and kindness what a blessing you can be to all so for some of you it's kind of be better or show better so sages indeed here there's a situation here that turns 180 degrees upside down somebody here might felt in a way and you might felt for some of you that's that's a situation here that you really didn't know what to do or how to do or what to think it's turning out that you had an opinion they had an opinion or you know every situation has two sides and now you are about to find those sides and that being said Saj, thank you for watching thank you for being here i hope this reading brings you some insights some light towards your situation and if it does let me know your feedback is all all the time appreciated and again don't hesitate to subscribe like and share i'll see you next time namaste